Hi, Digital Insurance in Action is our ongoing program reporting on digital insurance initiatives and innovations around the world and is supported and sponsored by KPMG. This month we've been focusing on telematics for the car and we've got three in views. Uh, this is the last one I'm recording and it's on Discovery Insure who have got a program called Vitality Drive in South Africa. Discovery was founded in 1992. Um, it runs Vitality, the world's largest scientific incentive-based wellness program. That's been a very successful program for them. They've expanded that around the world, and they've now got around 7 million clients. In 2011, they launched a new program, which was called Vitality Drive Program, um, that leveraged the behavioral expertise of Vitality and the latest telematics technology. This program, um, I would probably say, is a, is a work in progress, but I think if you can look at the left-hand side, you can see some of the sort of tangible results that they're reporting uh, in terms of either attracting or changing people's behaviour. They're showing uh, reductions in uh, accident rates of at least one third. They're showing lots of customers who are getting support from their uh, impact alert assistance service. Um, and as we'll see a little bit later through their Driving Challenge app, they are also able to prove uh, that driving behavioural change is immediate when people do engage and download uh, their app. So overall, a very, very good program. Um, what I'd like to focus on is really the reward side of this program. And then, as I said earlier, a little bit uh, around the mobile app. So in terms of the uh, rewards program, um, it's built on two components, the telematics uh, and then their experience with vitality on the health side. So this slide really looks just at the telematics base. Um, they've developed uh, a program called DQ, which means driving quotient, uh, that looks at all of the aspects of driving behavior. And you can see on the right hand side uh, how they're reporting that through what has become now a fairly standard sort of dashboard. Uh, what is different here is you see that they're um, rewards are expressed in terms of points, uh, and then they're actually breaking that down into a number of subcomponents, um, which includes driving behavior, vehicle safety, uh, and knowledge and awareness. So they are going a little bit beyond just the normal um, telematics um, approach in terms of uh, the data that you can get from the actual driving experience itself. Now, if we look in more detail now on the rewards side, uh, and I guess this is where Vitality has uh, has a lot of experience from the health side, they've created a very, very comprehensive uh, program of rewards. So unlike other telematics providers, they're not really going in at all with a discounted price proposition. Proposition here is very much um, change your driving behavior, do the right thing at the right time, uh, and we will give you points, and that will allow you to change your status and then access uh, a range of a range of rewards, and those rewards themselves are also designed to encourage uh, better driving behaviour. So one of the great examples they have is they have a program which is called Drive Me, um, which is basically access to uh, various taxi services, including Uber, at discounted prices, and they encourage their members to use a taxi. Uh, obviously, if they've been out for the night um, and then they're coming home, obviously that reduces risk um, and it also uh, allows people to avoid driving in times, which under this program would probably be penalised. What they've also done is a whole range of safety measures within the DQ tracker itself, um, such as weather warnings and emergency assistance services. They've also got some which are quite sort of South Africa specific. So they have something called GeoZone, which allows you to specify safe, safe zones for drivers. And then if a driver goes outside of a safe uh, zone, uh, it will then uh, alert other family members who can then uh, give them a call and make sure that everything uh, is okay. Um, the behind this program is a, is a big investment in the uh, rewards side uh, on fuel as well. So immediately when members sign up, they will get access to discounted fuel. So there's another incentive to join the program. This slide here really looks, um, uh, and I won't go into too much detail, but it looks at how do you get to advanced vitality drive status. Um, and this is an info slide that is provided to customers in a PDF. So uh, it advises them to go and get their car checked up, it advises them to drive well and gives them uh, advice at a fairly detailed level on how they can do that and how they can uh, get a good telematic score. Uh, and then they also look at other ways that you can um, improve your driving skills, um, 
and safety uh, by doing courses online, driving courses, getting your eyes tested, uh, etc. And then lastly, they also say, once you've got your status, how do you make sure you can maintain your uh, status uh, thereafter? And they give points, obviously, claims-free uh, experience as well. So I think what the Vitality program is doing is it's really attracting people who like that type of rewards program. And clearly, as they have a large customer base on the Vitality Health side, I think you'll see that they're tapping into uh, a similar pool of customers that they already have, which makes a lot of sense for them. I guess uh, from a broader market perspective, you'd have to say they're probably not tackling as many customers as they could. And obviously, when we've seen in other interviews that we've been doing uh, where other telematics providers are actually looking at price more directly and actually saying, look, if you drive well, we'll give you uh, a direct discount on the cost of your insurance. Vitality don't seem to be doing at that moment, this at the moment, but maybe they're just collecting the data uh, and they'll move on to that uh, in due course. The last thing I'd like to look at is the um, Discover Insure Driving Challenge app um, that was reduced, uh, was introduced last year. Um, I think this has been quite, quite a good tool from a marketing perspective and also just in terms of increasing awareness of these telematics devices. So to my knowledge, this, this app has essentially got the key telematics components um, on the app itself, so you don't need to have the device in the car. And in that sense, it's similar to Progressive's announcement that we've covered in another uh, in view. Um, and what they've done is they've reported already on, I think it was about 15 million kilometers of data uh, from 2014. And you see here on the right hand side, uh, they've got some evidence based statistics which show you that driving behavior does change. So they've got a scoring system, goes up to 100%. And they're saying that those that have scored 50 or more on day one show a 20% improvement. Uh, in the next couple of days. Those that are on 70 plus uh, show a 7% uh, improvement on their just driving score thereafter as well. So what they're really saying is here's evidence that installing this app, using this app, um, does actually change bright driving behavior. Uh, and in Vitality's view, that is uh, driving behavior that is therefore uh, better. Um, they have quite good social aspects on this as well, um, which I think is good from a marketing perspective. They also have some uh, rating of trips. So you can get a five-star trip. Uh, and then if you are a member of the Vitality program, that, that would allow you, would it enable you to go into a free prize draw as well. So I think they're using this app very well in terms of increasing awareness and also engaging with their existing customers. So that's it um, for today's um, in-view. Um, if you like the stuff we're doing, please do check out uh, our website. We've got a lot more uh, available online. Uh, that is available free to subscribers. Of course, it's only free because of the support of our sponsors, and we thank them uh, for their support, and we're always looking for more sponsors. Uh, lastly, if you know or are involved in great examples of digital innovation insurance, please do share them with us so we can share them with the community. You can contact me directly on the email address that's shown at the top of this slide. Thanks a lot.